And he's prophesying against their temple. And he's saying, in this generation, this temple is going to be destroyed. So, when was the temple destroyed? In 70 AD, right? So, 70 years after the birth of Jesus, the temple of Jerusalem is destroyed because Jesus said so. Because in 70 AD they came in and they tore down the temple and they burnt it down and then they turned over every stone to get the gold out. This is a true fact. So Jesus made that prophecy. Let's go to Matthew. We're still in Matthew. Let's go to chapter 20. We're still in 24. Let's go down to verse 32. Lord, could you hand me that green towel over there? Is it? Under your Bible. It's under my Bible? Praise God. I'm going to need this. Okay. Now, in chapter 24, verse 32, it says, Now learn the lesson of the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near right at the door. I tell you the truth. Now, he says, this generation will certainly not pass away until you see all these things have happened. <coughs> Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. So he's telling them, look. When you see the nation of Israel rebirth, when you see the fig tree rebirth, you are living in the last 70 years of history. Now, Israel was rebirthed in 1948. It was a miracle from God for a nation who had disappeared for all these years to be rebirthed back onto the planet. So, Jesus said, when you see that happen, know that the world has 70 years Till all these things be complete. So, this is not Pastor Sandy warning the world that you have 70 years. This is Jesus Christ warning the world that from 1948 you have 70 years. Okay, let's go back to Psalms chapter 48. Because the Lord said, they have left the evidence on the table. They're starting to now think that maybe their husband wants to get back together with them instead of the fact that the evidence is still telling you the same story. Amen. The evidence is still telling you the exact same story, that something is about to happen. Okay, in Psalm <coughs> chapter 48, Psalm chapter 48 is a vivid passage about the return of the Jews back into the land. If you read it from verse 1 to, the, to, to uh, verse 14, it plainly shows you exactly what happened in 1948. Amen. How they moved back into the land. How many of the nations gathered together to try to destroy them. How God fought the battle for them and fought off their enemies, right? Right. And then how they were able to stand and stay in the land. So Israel is still in the land. They had a war in 1948 against four or five different nations. And they won the war and still stayed in the land. So Israel being back in the nation is a miracle. Yes. This is evidence from God. Now, in verse 13, it says something else. It says, now, when you see this, it says, consider well her ramparts. View her citadels, that you may go and tell them to be, what does it say? The, the next generation, the following generation, this is why the scripture says, study to show thyself approved. In Hebrew, it does not say next generation. It does not say following generation. In Hebrew, it says, the Ador Acheron, the last generation. And it means the terminal generation. Right. Meaning that this will be the generation that terminates everything. Amen. Now, this is the word of God. Amen. Okay? I 
sorry that I was a detective and I told you about Friday. Okay? But you've got to go back and still look at the evidence and not open your door and let Satan in because you've forgotten the evidence. Amen. The evidence is still pointing to something that is about to happen and God is saying you need to still be watching. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 Um, so from 1948 to 2018 is the 70 years that the world has been counting down. Let's go um, to Psalms 118. Well, you say, well, Pastor, if what was the 2010 to 2017 thing all about? If the end of the end of the generation is 2018, well, this is what it's all about. From Adam to from Adam to September 30th of 2017 is exactly 6,000 years. This is the day that Christ returns and rescues Israel. But it's not the end of the seven years. You understand? It's not the end of the seven years. It's only the day that Christ says, okay, my work is now over. Now Israel has been rescued, but the 70th week that is that the seven uh, uh, years that has belonged to Israel does not end when Christ hits the earth and rescues Israel. Amen. Because he still has to be crowned. They still have to be rebuild the temple. And the temple has to be anointed. The Holy of Holies has to be anointed. Amen. So there's a lot of things that still have to happen in the year 2018. So let's read Psalms 118. And look at what it says. Praise God. Amen. It says, um, now you've got to imagine the people that are speaking here are the nation of Israel. And a lot of us Gentiles that are standing around who just got back. It says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love endures forever. In my anguish, I cried to the Lord. That's Israel talking. And he answered me by, by setting me free. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I will look in triumph on my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Now listen, Psalms 118 is the middle of the Bible. You know that? Psalms 18, there are here, I even made sure I got it typed out. It says, okay, now, there are 594 verse, I mean chapters in the Bible before Psalms 8, 118. There's 594 chapters after Psalms 118. The middle chapter of the whole Bible is Psalms 118. Verse 8, which is the number of Jesus Christ, gives you this scripture. Verse 8 says, it is better to trust in the Lord than to trust in men. That's the middle of the Bible. The middle scripture of all the Bible, and there it is. Trust in the Lord and do not trust in, it's better to trust in the Lord than to trust in men. So, it says in verse 9, it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All the nations surrounded me, but, the name of the, but in the name of the Lord I cut them off. They surrounded me on every side. But in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. When is it that all nations are going to surround Israel? 
In the last days at Armageddon, the Lord said, I will send every nation against the land of Israel. In 2018, every nation, or in 2017, every nation in the world will gather to destroy Israel. And Christ will come and rescue them from their despair. Okay? So, when he rescued them, they are celebrating in Psalms 118 their rescue. It says in verse 12, They swarmed around me like bees, but they died out as quickly uh, as burning thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. I was pushed back, about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my Yeshua. So now, what does Yeshua mean in, in Hebrew? Salvation. So before, Jesus was not their salvation. 